Okay, guys, I know a lot of people have been asking questions about how to uh, create a voiceover but add background music using Audacity. Now, I did look at a couple of videos that are already posted on Audacity that shows how to use, how to put background music behind a voice. But one of the things that I see other people do that, I mean, everybody does what they want to do, but I don't really agree with is a lot of people like to come over here and adjust the gain, which as you can see right here, um, you can turn it down or you can turn it up. But one of the things I really want to warn you about doing is using that to adjust your volume on your tracks, because I'm going to play an example for you. I want you to listen to this now. This is just a voice. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. Now, that's the voice with the game being at zero. Now, some people say that you can use the game by turning the game up towards the positive direction to make your track louder. But I really want to show you what happens when you do that. So we're going to take our game and we're just going to move it up three, well, it's four. And let's see what happens. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. And what you can hear is there's like a slight sort of grainy sound in the back. And that's what happens when you adjust your gain that way. So and trying to make your track louder. Now, if you want to go higher with it, let's say a 13, 14. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. You see, you're getting that little grainy sound in the person's voice. So if you say, I'm going to use my gain to turn my volume down, and we'll do a six this time, just to go the other way. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. Now, that doesn't sound bad, but you can still hear it a little. But if you go even lower, higher, lower Before with the Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. Okay. So it doesn't sound bad going down as it does when you adjust your gain higher. But I really recommend that, you know, you don't really move your gain up to make your tracks louder. If you have to go down, go down really low. But I want to show you something that you can do. Now, we have our voiceover, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a music file to put behind this. Okay, so... Uh, so now, I write music, so you're gonna, there's a ton of songs on here. Um, okay, now this is what I do for my podcast. Now, for my podcast certain parts of it when i have like maybe like a little commercial or break session i normally put music behind it so now i'm going to show you something here's the voice right here of the lady speaking and here is the music section now one thing i want to say for people that if you are doing voiceovers i really recommend that you do your voiceover in mono and don't do it in stereo because stereo is from usually multiple voices, multiple applications. Whereas mono is just one voice and I think you get a better sound. So, but here's what we got right now. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. When we pray and God doesn't seem to be answering our prayers, discouragement seems to build up. Now, what you can hear is you hear her voice, but the music seems to be a little bit loud. OK, so first things first, the voice track right here. OK, we're going to click right here. Do our selector. OK, and I want to highlight the voice track. OK, now remember, this is an audio only track that I'm highlighting right now. This is just the voice track. Go to tracks, go to mix. I'm going to mix our stereo down to mono. And let's mute this because I want you to hear that nothing has really changed. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. Okay, so my voice still sounds good. 
All right, I still got the same voice. Now, what we want to do is we want to add this music part in here. But we know that our music part is really kind of loud, and we want it to be a subtle background feature, not really competing with the main voice. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go right here, and we're going to grab our envelope tool. Okay? I highly recommend that this is what you use when you're looking to adjust the volume behind a background track, a background track. Now, we want to make our music the background, so what we're going to do is we want to click in the middle, and you see the white dots, and we want to make this smaller. Okay? Now, normally for me, that's normally a good size. That size right there is kind of my way of saying, okay, I think that's going to fit very well behind the voice. And it's not going to compete with the voice because you want to hear the words. So let's hear it. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. When we pray and God doesn't seem to be answering our prayers, discouragement seems to build up within us. Sometimes. Now. Her voice is still there, but I think the track can be a little louder. So now you can just go right here and raise it up a little bit. Before we return to our regular program, Hold on, let's go back. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. When we pray, and God doesn't seem to be answering our prayers, discouragement seems to build up within us, sometimes to the point of frustration. Now, I really like the way that sounds. The music is in the back, the music is in the background, it's not loud, it's not really standing out, so it's very subtle. So now what I want to do, I'm happy with the way my track sounds, I'm happy to, with, the, with the way my uh, vocal sound. Now, I can also do the same thing. If I wanted to make my track louder, I can do the same thing just by raising it up a little bit. Okay? And then when I hit play. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. When we pray and God doesn't. And it makes the, her voice is now getting louder. If I want it to be a little louder. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. When we pray, and God now, doesn't seem to be answering. Now that we got a voice set, a track set. Now this is just for me. I already have a selection of where I want this to be. Because I'm actually going to use this. So what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut that part because before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. When we pray and God doesn't seem to. Okay. So I got that set the way I want. Next thing I'm going to do is come here because what I want to do, The rest of this, I'm not going to be using, so I'm just going to cut it off. Okay. Now, what I'm doing here is making the clip fit the way I want. So, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm, I want to listen to how this ends. Okay. Life and not for the things of the world. So what I'm going to do is come back, go to effects. Now you got studio fade out and you got fade out. This is fade out. And right here is studio fade out. I recommend that you use the fade out. Studio fade out is going to make it louder. And then it decreases where it's fade out is going to just fade it out from where you highlighted that. So you're not going to have this loud part then going back down, where it's fade out just fades it straight on out. So now let's take a listen. Commands. 
Remember to pray for God's will on your life and not for the things of the world. See, and I like that because after she's talking, it doesn't just abruptly stop. You got a nice little fade taking you into transition to whatever your next piece is going to be within your podcast or whatever you're using uh, this for. Now, remember, we mix and render this stereo first stereo down to mono. Okay? So now what we want to do... Now, here's the thing. If you are happy with this, you can export this right now just like it is. If you want to. Okay? But me being the perfectionist that I am <laughs> and critical of myself, I'm going to take this track and I'm going to mix and render it. Ah, okay. okay. I lost my highlighted section. Okay. I'm going to take this track. Remember, I'm not taking the top track, which is the vocals. I'm just taking the music track. And I'm going to take the music track and I'm going to mix and stereo it down. And I'm, before I actually save and go forward, I want to play this. Before we return to our regular program, to make sure please enjoy the spiritual food for thought. Vocals haven't changed. When we pray and God doesn't seem to be answering our prayers, discouragement seems to build up within us, sometimes to the point of frustration and depression. This is the time to ask yourself, am I truly working to please God for His purpose? Or am I seeking worldly things to please myself? Am I dedicating time for prayer for and giving him praise? It gets a little louder. Psalm 119 sure verse 10 says, I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. Remember to pray for God's will on your life and not for the things of the world. Now, to me, it sounds like it's a little bit just a tad bit loud. So we're going to do a little one more time. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. When we pray and God doesn't seem to be answered. Okay, let's go right here. 10 says, I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. Remember to pray for God's will on your life and not for the things of the world. Okay, so now we have it. We got them both mixed down to mono. Um, we got our sound levels correct. Where we have our actual voice, which is louder than our background music. And our background music is subtle in the background. You can still hear it, but it doesn't overtake the actual audio of the voice. Now, once again, I can actually export this as it is, as an MP3, as a WAV file, however I want to do it. But my preference, okay, so what I'm going to do is highlight both. And I'm going to go back to tracks. And mix and render. So now, let's play it. Before we return to our regular program, please enjoy this spiritual food for thought. When we pray, and God doesn't seem to be answering our prayers, discouragement seems to build up within us sometimes to the point of frustration and depression. This is the time to ask yourself, am I truly working to please God for his purpose? So now I have my track mixed and rendered. I got the sound levels, the vocal levels that I like. So what I'm going to do now is go to file. I'm going to export it as an MP3. And I am going to save this. I already have the file open. So whenever you're doing this, make sure that you got the correct file you want to save it under. So um, this is, uh, what did I say these as? Okay, save it. Now this part you can do 
if you want to, it's not necessary. You know, you don't have to do this. For my podcast, I always do this, the metadata tags, but I don't always do it for everything else. But once you do that, you save it, it exports the file, and that's it. You're pretty much good. Um, I have three more of these to do. So, but hey, I hope that helps, especially if you're looking to add background music or effects behind your tracks. It's the same process. So if you got any questions, Shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to help you. See you next time. Bye.